Hello and welcome, thank you for joining me. Today I am trying to get a gold medal on the United States map on GeoGuessr. To do that I need to get 22,500 points at least. See my best attempt so far was only 15,000. That was a long time ago though. So let's see how we can do. Let's get started. Round number one, no time limits here. I would like to get a perfect game. And I've got time, so we'll see. It's thundering outside, not sure if you can hear that. Hopefully that doesn't cause a problem. What do we have here? North Charleston, okay. North Charleston. I think we can do better than that. Let's go this way. Ah, looks like we're at a uh, military base. Can't see that sign there. I saw the sign back here. It said visitors left lane. I was like, That's kind of weird. Visitors? What, out of towners? No. Maybe that's not a military base. I don't know what it is. Well, I'm going to go the other direction. I do want more information. No, nothing there. Laurel Bay. Bay Pines. Okay. What what road are we on? We're on Laurel Bay, it looks like. Let's just look in Charleston. South Carolina. And there's North Charleston. And this road... Going east, yeah, pretty much east to west, wouldn't be this. It doesn't seem right. Although I will say, the sides of the roads are very well manicured, which is true in the Carolinas. You can tell at the state line. Nothing on that bus. Can't believe that. Laurel Bay Road. I'm sure it has a uh, number attached to it as well. Let them work. Let them live. Okay. Might have something on here. Interstate towing. Eh. Beaufort, Beaufort, South Carolina. Yeah. Okay, well, where's Beaufort? 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 Man, I don't know. Probably Beaufort. Uh, I feel like this is where those people are from. Uh, their name is escaping me right now. Murdoch. Yeah, I think they're from there. Oh, Laurel Bay, Laurel Bay Road, right there. Let's go back to the beginning. That's Cape Heart, yep. Cool, that's Cape Heart Lane. A circle, and there is Lane right there, okay. Um, I need to make sure I'm really as close as possible to the beginning to get a perfect score because we're not playing on the world map. You have to be closer. And I think we're good. Okay. Let's give it a guess. Nine meters. All right. 5,000 points. Let's go on to round number two. Land trucks. Lando? Lando trucks. Okay. Let's uh, go away from this. City of Bell. Okay, City of Bell. Could be anywhere. Yeager Way. Yeager. Yeager. Something. What's that say? Go back. 
I just want to read that sign. I don't even has anything on it, probably, but I'm determined at this point. All right. Yeah, I want to go this way. Just need to figure out what state we're in. Because we already know we're in Bell. Now we're in Vernon. Okay. Bell and Vernon. Pennington. Looking at the roads now, they do look pretty beat up. So we're probably in the north. There's mountains over there. To the north, those are big mountains too. Okay. Here we go. The 710, Atlantic Boulevard. What? Atlantic? I was not expecting that. Gonna keep going. We can, uh, we can get more information than that. Long Beach. Yeah, Santa Ana. Whoa, look at that, dude. Big mountains. Okay, we are in California. Uh, 710. Are there mountains that big near LA? I guess. 215, what? No sevens around here. Let's regroup. Santa Ana, Long Beach. Yeah, Long Beach is LA, right? Yeah, Long Beach is right there. There's a 710. Cool. We need Bell, the city of Bell. Dude. I, I, don't, I don't know if these are all cities or just neighborhood names. It's a ton though. An absolute ton. There's Vernon. There's Bell. How did I make it all the way there? All right, back to the beginning. Figure out what the name of this street is. There's Bandini Boulevard and Jaeger Way, of course. Bandini is going north to south. Boyle, Atlantic. I, we need to be on the way to Vernon though, right? Or did I move that far? Which way did I go? I went west on Jaeger into Vernon. That's it. There's Bandini, okay. One of these roads. What was going on the other way? We got another street. Amelia Earhart Way, okay. And that only goes south. There's Jaeger Way. And there's Amelia Earhart Way. So we're back in here. I don't think we're that far. There? Let's go back to the beginning one more time. That is the gates, which we can see on the map right there. We'll line it up as much as we can. We can see that. Is likely that. Oh, and there's that. That does not show on the map. This little turnaround here. This building? Probably that? We're lined up with that. Let's give it a guess. Mmm, one meter. Okay, 5,000 points. Round number three. Could be tough getting out of here. I always struggle. These like cul-de-sac areas to actually get out of the neighborhood. Okay, we got it. We're on Weatherstone in Millbrook Parkway. Eek. Homeowners Association. Ugh. Nah, I have no opinion on that. Beautiful. Look at these signs. Look at these signs. I'm in love with them. 465 Keystone Avenue. Eh. Nope. Not doing much for me. 465. Huh. Actually, what do we have on this van here? Kerman's Flooring. Okay. This? Keystone. Yeah, I feel like I should know where Keystone is. I don't. Tom Wood. This sign, uh, that's what I want. 
It's just everything says Keystone. I get it. We're in Keystone. Whoa. Apparently, this is a new interchange. The Keystone Parkway. 465. I'm guessing it is near the 65. Uh, and the 65 would have to be... I don't know, around here, Indiana, yeah. Keystone. Let's just follow the 65 down and see if Keystone exists. We'll give it one more. Yeah, we're actually the 465, not the 65, but still, I, I think the 465 intersects somewhere with the regular 65. Looks like a decently sized city that would show up on the map. No, it could just be like an area of Louisville. Hmm, don't think so. What do we have going the opposite direction? 96, Keystone Parkway, yada yada yada. Mini. It's okay, we got time. I am flush with time and confidence right now. Yeah, it's everything's 465. Give me just the name of a city that we're headed towards that's not Keystone. We in Texas. I feel like I saw a sign back there that said Arlington. Keystone, an area around here? Or do I see the 465? 35W? Weird. No, we'll keep looking. Keystone, man. I know when I find where this is, I'm gonna kick myself for not knowing. Pottery barn. Alright, we're getting out of the city here. I think I'm gonna go on to the 465. See where it takes me. Wait a second. Does that just say 465 again? It's a detour. It's okay. I guess they call this The Crossing. Keystone at The Crossing. Oh yeah, I was gonna try to talk about if I've been to any of these places. I guess while I'm looking I can do that. 31 North. Uh, actually that North Charleston round. Not that I was on that exact road or anything. I'm almost positive I went to that Tangier outlet there, though, which we did see on the map. Almost positive. But not 100%. And where was the other round? Can't remember. Allisonville? 69? Fort Wayne? Yeah, we are in Indiana, okay. I was on the right track earlier. I was on the right track. There's Fort Wayne. So we're heading east, northeast. How? Oh, yeah. This would be heading northwest. So we're heading this way. There's the 469. Is that what I've been looking for? No, I've been looking for the 465. Keystone should be here somewhere. Where's the 69? There? There's the 465. It's in Indianapolis. I, I feel like I looked there already. There's Keystone at the crossing, though. Okay. Okay, so we're back in this cul-de-sac area. Brooks Bend Drive. Let's just go back to the road. Millbrook. That's right. And what's this road we came to? Brooks Bend. Uh, this is 99th Street. There's 96th and 106th. So there's East 99th. Okay, I don't see Brook whatever. Oh, Millbrook. Yeah, here. Brooks Bend Drive. Vinnings. Weird. We're definitely right there. At this intersection of Brooks Bend and Vinnings, which they've blurred out. Why? 
Okay, well, let's give it a guess. Four meters, 5,000 points. Cool. This looks kind of tropical here. Oddly tropical. Not sure we're going to be in the mainland here. Not entirely sure about that. But we will see. Looks pretty Hawaiian to me. Pohaku? 35th Avenue? Which way do I want to go? Let's go this way. I wonder if territories count, like if Guam could be on this. Nah. I think that just says neighborhood watch. Can't really read anything else. Super old imagery, that's why it's so terrible to look at, moving so slowly. What do we got here? Tribune, Herald, yeah, get a better newspaper name, bro. Main Road, okay. Hmm. Did not want to click that. We'll go this way. Kalali Road. Miles and kilometers on that sign. Interesting. We gotta be getting somewhere. Orchid Land. That's not what I was expecting to find. We got a church here. The something church of Honolulu, perhaps? Nope. Just a completely unhelpful one. Ohana, okay. Nope, can't really read that. Paradise. My paradise is a little more well marked. Got some flags there, man. I don't know anything about them though. Hawaiian Paradise Park, yeah, okay. At least that's confirmation that we're in Hawaii. Um, I feel like there was a sign here. Pa'ani Ranch. We're driving southeast. I don't know anything about how many islands there are in Hawaii. I know there are a few, at least. I don't want to have to check all of them. I wonder if just Pahoa could be. Pahala. There's Pahoa. Leilani Estates. I don't think I saw that. Orchid Lands, though. I did see that. Okay. Back to the beginning. This is gonna be real tough to get a 5,000. Okay, I'm traveling southeast down this road. I don't think that's the way that I went the first time. What is this? Just a house. Just some houses. Is it a dead end? Hard to tell. Lan Luma? There's Kulani. I feel like we did see Kulani. Mama Lahoa Highway. We could be on that. Or we could be near that. What's this? Lana Luma. If that's even a thing. It's going southeast. Could be one of these roads. Any of these. Oh, need to do a little bit better than that. There's Orchid Land Estates, so we were near there. Pohaku Circle? Did we... Maybe not. Alright, I'm going back to the beginning. I'm gonna go a different way this time. This time I'm going northeast. Yeah, we are on Pohaku. Or, no, we're not on po Pohaku. Pohaku, uh... Crosses this road right here. Right? Yeah, this is Poha Pohaku Circle, right here. That would put us on Pohaku Drive. It's Pohaku Place. So north on Pohaku Circle is a dead end. And south would take us down to Pohaku Place. Let's confirm that. Oh, we can't. It's not gonna let me go that way. That's okay. 
Let's keep going northeast, and we should come to uh, Pohaku Drive, perhaps. Or, no, we'll come to the big road. It's gonna take me a minute to wrap my mind around this, folks. All right, so we're like right around here. That's not where we started, though. We start here. If I look directly north, wait a second. I can't believe this. It's right there. 35th. 35th and Pohaku. We're like right, right there. Pohaku Place, not Drive. Yeah, that could have been bad. There maybe? Beginning, one more time. Looking north. Yeah. I'm gonna guess. Four meters, 5,000 points. Okay, on to round number five. We can still get a perfect game here, folks. Look at that house, dude. Dang. That is a crazy house. Whoa. Very flat. Well, not flat. That's not what I meant to say. No trees. That's what I meant to say. Blue license plate there. Kind of weird. American West. Jefferson Creek Apartments. Just a micro hotel. No, I've never been to Hawaii. <laughs> no, and uh, wherever this is, I've probably also not been. Uh, Grand Dakota Motel. That could help narrow it down. Which Dakota? North? South? Dickinson, North Dakota. And that looks like a local business. Trailer's just parked right there, right? We got another one over here. Different business, but whatever. Dickinson, right there. There's only like 10 towns in North Dakota. What do we got here? Sagebrush and grasslands, right? Grass and something. Grasslands, yeah. I think this is a numbered road that we're on, like 30 something street. Or 15th? Is it 15th? That would be up here. There's grasslands, yep. And sagebrush? What? Is this sagebrush? Yeah, right there. Yeah, we're right there, folks. I got it. Okay. Six meters, 5,000 points. And uh, I think as far as these Explorer games that I've been playing, where I'm like trying to get a gold medal on all these countries, this is my first perfect game. Let's view results. Yeah. Well done, you've received a new medal for the United States. Look at the breakdown. How long did this take? 37 minutes and 9 seconds. Wow, yeah, kind of long. That's okay though, we got it. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one.